Hi there. This is my take on Ill Masks Sophie Eye Look. I absolutely adore this look. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to do a tutorial on it. I know it's been out for a while now, but I just haven't had a chance to sit down and have a look at it and figure out how to do it properly. Um, I absolutely adore it though. So to start off, I have a heavy wear foundation on because my skin is breaking out quite badly at the moment. So I'll link that tutorial below. Uh, I've set it with a Smashbox Photo Set uh, Powder and I filled in my eyebrows. Now the eyebrows in this image, I have to start, stop raising my eyebrows. The eyebrows are quite rounded and quite thick and very full and dramatic. Um, and I have very rounded eyebrows anyway, so all I did was I didn't accentuate the arch that would normally be there. I just filled it in so that they were very rounded and extended them out quite far. Next of all, you just take, this is Inglot's Shadow Matte 356. It's just a very, very, very light baby pink. And this just goes on the inside part and then I'm taking 344 from Inglot as well which is a kind of a mink colour and this just goes on the outside of the lid next of all you'll need to take a pencil, a black eye pencil and get really really close up to a mirror because we're going to draw in this shape here. So easiest way to do this is draw the line down first and then figure out how far you need it to go out. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be filling it all in. The edge has to be perfect on the inside pretty much as close as you can get it. So then just follow that around and take your time, no rush with this as you can see it doesn't look perfect at all but it will do perfectly. Next of all, just take a very small little brush and take a matte black shadow. I am taking, this is from my NYX palette. It's just the big black in the middle. Uh, you could take Carbon from MAC or you could take just, just any really deep dark matte black colour. And then just go over this line very carefully be especially careful as you go onto the inside because it ends at quite a point and then just blend that up towards your eyebrow Then you'll want to take a brush and just blend out the edges a bit. You 
want us to have a very rounded shape. Just keep filling in until you have it dark enough. Because you want this to be a very dark, intense black, especially close to the inside. I feel the easiest way to get a good point is to use a concealer brush that has some concealer on it and just tidy up anything you need to. We're going to bring this a bit further in afterwards but this is just good for the beginning. And then you also don't take any more product on the brush, but you also want to bring this in here as well. So you want just a really light grey kind of colour, just the very inside of your eye. As you can see there. You can go over that with the eyeshadow that had the mink on it, just to lighten it up a bit more. I'm going to bring the black under the eye a little bit. Not too far, just I'd say the outer third at most. Next of all, just take an angled liner brush and take a little bit of black on this and get it really, really sharp. And this is what we're going to use to get a really sharp, defined point on the inside. Any mistakes, keep the concealer brush handy. This look it just takes a lot of work and a lot of blending and a lot of just working out. Then take, this is a pearl shadow from Inglot 
397 and you can just take that on the same little brush that you did the pink with and you just want to sweep this literally right down the center of your eye this just gives a gorgeous sheen that is probably lighting in the image but for us we're going to create it with a bit of sheeny eyeshadow You want a good sharp dark edge on the inside here. And then we're going to take matte white. This is 318, it's just a matte white from English. I just want to sweep this quite liberally into the brow bone. And then take your angled eyeliner brush again. And you're going to need a black gel liner. I find gel liner is a bit easier to work with than a liquid liner on this. are going to bring this into a point. Thicker on the outside, a little bit thinner on the inside. Try to match them up a little bit more. Now this bit to me is tricky because I have a few wrinkles underneath my eye. So trying to get this bit is a little bit hard. You're going to need your concealer brush handy and plenty of foundation on it for tidy enough messes. Now what I do is work from the inside. And when you get to just before halfway, start to work it down underneath the line of the eye. And maybe tighten your skin, pull it tight. And then I'd recommend hold it there until it dries, especially if you have wrinkly eyes like me. Because if you don't, you'll let go of it and you'll look down and it'll all just start to go down into the wrinkles. So leave it there till it dries a bit and then we're just going to intensify the colour and bring it up closer to the eye. bit more liner this is what I mean about having the liner the concealer brush handy just to tidy up anything because it's so simple to make a mistake here this is especially hard to do looking into the camera it's a lot easier when you're looking into a mirror
That might be as good as I'm gonna get it right now. Let's put the other ones so they match a bit better. Ah, it'll do. Um, And then you can get your black eyeshadow brush and just smudge them together a little bit. A little bit of eyeshadow. My memory card was full so my camera switched itself off. Um, anyway, so we're just contouring the inside of the nose. Do a bit under the lip and also under the chin. And now the blush colour I'm taking oops, is try and pop it out for you. 55 from Inglot. It's a kind of a rosy kind of colour. And I start on the apples of the cheeks. And sweep your way back. The blush is quite big on this. It's not overly dramatically dark or anything but it takes up quite a good bit of her cheek. You can also do a little bit of contouring, just to the inside. And then the lip colour I've used is this, it's just a very nude colour, this one here, from Inglot. So any really nude colour and then put some gloss over it, just to give it a nice sheen. Um, I think the eyes are dramatic enough, you don't need a lip, which is why they did it in the image. And that is it for this video. I hope you like my Sophie eye look. Um, check out the rest of my videos and please subscribe and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.